All right, guys, how y'all doing today? So, this video is going to be, after getting framed, this video is going to be about the Ernest Rowe carbon fiber barrel tensioner with and without the tensioner. Hey, there's tails. Come on. That's once. How many times do you think she's going to want back in? Anywho, uh, I got a target. Y'all can't see it. I'll show you here in a little bit, but it's about 56, almost 60 yards down that way. So there should be plenty of comparison with and without. I've already shot a video shooting at 30 yards right past there. And there was a little bit of difference, but you couldn't tell it a lot. And there might not be that much different uh, difference at all. It might just be the fact that carbon fiber tensioner is a little bit of, you know, flare. But anyway, I think there's actually some science behind it. I don't know all of the science. All I know is that you have harmonics that don't just go up in a straight line. They go up and down, side to side, horizontal, etc. Anyway, fellas, this right here... This magnificent piece of machinery by the man of Frederick Axelson and Johan Axelson. Dude, she's my baby. The monster wheel is a modification. Carbon fiber tensioner is a carb is a carbonation. A addition. The Accutac by Felipe Salazar. It's great. And then you got the night vision. Green light. I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot with the tensioner and without it. And then also, whenever I take the tensioner off, I'm not going to be able to put back on the Swan Harmonic Tuner. Oh, yeah. We can't forget the Donnie FL. 30 cal. Sumo. Bro. Let's go. All right, guys. So Donnie slash Izzy makes a carbon fiber tensioner cap. It's a piece of that goes at the end of the uh, barrel. It tensions. It's a it's a metal adapter that lets you really tension down that carbon fiber. So get a hold of Donnie or Izzy, and if you get a carbon fiber tensioner from Ernest, that's what you uh, can do. Or I don't know if Ernest will like sell to. I don't think he has like an actual shop or anything i'm just Ernest's friend and i hit him up because i saw his that he's been making and i was like hey man how much and he quoted me a price and i bought it but um izzy slash donnie does have a adapter that you can tension down it's just a piece of metal that screws onto the end of the half U and F. so anyhow guys i just needed to interject this little tidbit of information for y'all Get some air up in this joint. Oh, and P.S. by the way, guys, I'm going to have this tethered. Simple reason. My compressor, the tuxing is broken, as well with my Daystate 110. It flipping sucks. I apologize for the aggravation right there. Um, the Daystate is a good compressor. It's just Oklahoma humidity hates it. <laughs> there was some rusted crud man I took that sucker apart I was like holy moly and I'm in a hopefully not moisturized room whenever I run it but it sucks man but anyway that's my aggravation for the video all calm now it's all good in the hood bruh So, nutshell version, what I was going to say and what I am saying currently, like a little bitty turd head, is the reason behind the intro music on the last video is it's my best friend's song and my song that we love and I found. And anyhow, I was thinking of my buddy and I had it as an intro video. I apologize to the people who don't like, don't like electronic music and a crazy raging ball of wild fur. 
like I said, critique me and all that good jazz. But anyway, all y'all awesome individuals, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. Well, here's the ending right now. I'm on Con Master. Con Master is a great app. Get it on your phone if you're a YouTuber. Howdy, 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 hoo. Heedy, 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 hee. Who knows what movie that's off of? Bree? Yoda, 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 yo. We don't need no education. Bum, ba dum, bum, dum, ba dum, bum. Dark sarcasm in the classroom. Hey! Teacher, leave those kids alone. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for me, myself, personally singing the song. I don't think there should be much of a problem, but you never know. It's the YouTube slash the internet slash the almighty Google. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Stupid me. Life. But other than that, boys and girls, we're about to shoot at about 60, 60 yards. And uh, we're about to go, all you sunshine people. Just a sec, I'm going to pause the video real fast. All right, guys, <clears throat> we're back at the night time, and uh, we're going to finish up that tensioned and untensioned barrel at 58, close to 60 yards. As stated previously, no compressor. If anybody out there is watching in the industry, I need a compressor. But I'm okay. I do have a hand pump. I just prefer not to. But if worse comes to worst, there is a place in the city that I can go and get my tank filled. I just don't have to pay and Drive all the way to OKC to get my tank filled. And as stated previously, this is going to be tethered so I can conserve my air. Alright. Oh, yeah, I tuned the crown to uh, the harmonic tuner, it's the Swan tuner, Mr. Tim Swan, and uh, it's at R2 as well as the most accurate. Alright, fellas, here we go. Turn that green light on, too. There went Tails. She loves that green light. Well, I got the target lit up down there with another light. And it isn't quite powerful enough to go all the way down there. Alright. Here we go. We're going to shoot three five-shot groups instead of ten-shot groups because I don't have many pellets, at least in this tin. Actually, I'll probably go ahead and get me another tin of pellets and make it three ten-shot groups, but I'll have to pause the video here in a little bit and get some more pellets.
All right, guys, I'm going to go pause the video and get some more pellets. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. I pulled the charger cord. Hold on just a second. All right, here's the first 10 shot out of the three groups. Alright, I'm going to go rescue Tails real fast. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Alright, we're back. Sorry for the seasickness. Alright, second group. With the tension barrel. All right, there's 10, you gotta reload. Last group with the tension barrel. They saved the best for last. That's the best group I've shot so far. All right, now I'm gonna reload and I'm gonna take this tension barrel off as well with the swan. So it's just gonna be a bare steel barrel, steel housing. And this is the original Mark I barrel that won both me and my dad a placement at Extreme Ventrest as a sportsman. 2018, I won first place, got a thousand dollar gift card, and uh, my dad won third place, and he got a two fifty dollar gift card. But he would have had first place if he wouldn't have double shot his target. He was having to hold six to eight MOA just to keep it inside the eight ring. But, this is what you look for in competition. Yes, you can get lucky and have no wind at all, but that's real rare. So what you shoot for in competition is a consistent wind. You find that consistent wind, you get your holds, and you shoot. At least that's what me and my dad do. Everybody has their own way of going about it. There's suicide way where you shoot, you see where your first pellet went after you get done shooting your group, and you just rapid fire that sucker. That can be dangerous or it could get you a real high score. I mean, just look at Frederick. Uh, at RMAC, what was it, 2 minutes 30 seconds, he cleared a card, and it was the highest scoring card out there. So, there's methods of madness, but, and I shoot fast myself. I mean, I went, and, uh, I had, a. Uh, I think, all three of my cards, my two qualifiers, and the final, I, I think I got done within like the first 
five or ten minutes. No, maybe not even five minutes. I know that one card I shot like in maybe three. So, anyhow, I mean, there's it. You just have to feel it, man. You gotta, you gotta gauge the wind and do what your gut tells you. I mean, there's it. It really is luck. I mean, luck, and in my my personal honest opinion, man, I mean, it's the Lord helped me out with the wind. That's just me. So, I am going to put the Donnie back on. But, anyway, guys, I mean, it's whatever floats your boat, man. And me, myself, personally, I actually like a bare barrel. I don't really like the shroud, actually. But, it's there for a reason. Alright, let's see what this group moves to. Currently, it's about top, it's top right. I don't have it zeroed, but you'll see the groups. First one. All right, reload, and then we're good. Last group. There we go. All right. Now it's starting to rain. I gotta get these guns in. I'm gonna pause the video real fast. Alright, guys, I gotta end this video because my phone's at 1%. I'll be back tomorrow. Alright, guys, y'all can see the target down there now. That is about 58 yards. So, let's go down there and measure the group. You got calipers in hand. Digital. So I don't have to worry about reading a dial, which I don't have any problem reading, but anywho. Check it out. It's my 66 Mustang, bro. Excuse me. Gently press that like button. Gently. Y'all know who that is. It's the Meathead Marksman, bro. He's an awesome dude. I hope he watches my video. Oh, crud, guys. I left my light out here last night. All right. Well, there's the three groups on top. On top is the with the tension. So, here we go. Oh. All right. So, not center to center, edge to edge. We got 0 0.937. 
we got and this paper is probably ripped it's probably a smaller group but anyway there's no backing behind it on these groups uh one point one three zero. Oh, this one's good that looks real nice and it does have backing it's got wood that's point eight three eight huh that's weird kind of looks like the groups from without the tension barrels better might have to keep the tensioner off uh, but in due process shooting at 100 yards is what will determine that 0 0.964 uh, 0 0.926 and 1.8 1.118 alright guys well there's the groups there's the measurements so everybody this has been the Cut of Boone Enix, a friend good who walks with God, or the Lord's marksman. And y'all take care and have a blessed day. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really did try to make a better video than the previous. Critique me in any way, shape, or form y'all feel needed. I will learn and grow. I am a sponge ready to be soaked up. I am a YouTuber who is ready to become a good, very good YouTuber that everybody knows. Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Peace out, boy and girl scouts.